Why? Uh, murder at nighttime is strange. Im impossible, even. Impossible, I agree. Why? Why do you think that? Right. Because student council made rule that we know can be outside during nighttime. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could have happened at nighttime. Yeah, but student council members could be around. And even and other people could also just not follow the rules. Do you really think that everyone would go along with that rule? But... But, it a tour rule. It a tour's rule. Angie says, say he punish us if we not follow his rules. But... But the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do whatever they wanted. Angie was also working here at night. <gasps> huh? She was? But... No way. Student council would never break own rules. Right. They should have been asleep in own rooms to set good example to others. <sighs> Maybe Angie got attacked while she sleep in her room and got get brought here? Gota, idiot. If so, Gota could have saved her. If only Gota saw. But Gota was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gota no could save you. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside in spite of the student council rule. Uh, Gonta is way too gullible, and it is a big problem. Sumuki, what do you got to say? Um, uh, um, I'm not sure so if it's okay to say this or not, but could Tenko be the culprit? Why are you suddenly bringing up other people being the culprit, Sumugi? What is up with that? Why are you being so weird? Huh? Huh? Tenko? Oh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. So, you suspect Tenko? Actually. Because, as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed into this lab. Oh, yeah. That's right. Angie did allow members of the student council to enter her lab, but she already knew that she wasn't a member anymore. Oh. Yeah, Angie had been shut away here, working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That's true. I would certainly point to Tenko, if she did betray the student council after all. No. If she did betray the student council after all. It's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but... Since, the o since only the student council members would have been let in here... So only... So Angie only let in student council members. I'm thinking of something. What did some... Hold on. Sumuki, what did she say about her ultimate cosplayer talent earlier? She said that she does not cosplay real people but did she say that or was it that she doesn't cosplay living people would she be willing to cosplay somebody who's dead I don't know does that not go against her ideals I don't actually know I don't remember but I remember she was very specific about how she was she does not cosplay like certain people. Like, what was it? Let me try to recall the the, ver the case that it was. It wasn't the first case. It would have had to have been. Was it the second case? Ryoma. Kirumi. What was the case where we were suspecting Sumugi because he was the cos ultimate cosplayer? It had to be the first case, right? But why were we thinking that it could have been her? Yeah, I can't remember it all, and that's kind of unfortunate. But man, Smoogie's been so weird lately. Um, yes, yeah, so she only let in student council members, so that would be Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Tsumugi. But not Tenko, she already knew that Tenko wasn't a man member anymore. Of that group, Tenko is certainly the most suspicious. I don't agree. Of the group, Samugi is clearly the most suspicious. Why are we getting that as an account? What does that account even say? 
Where is that? And she had locked herself in the ultimate artist lab since yesterday. Working on the rituals were not unlocked unless it was a student council member. Okay. All right, Mew, what do you got to say? <laughs> this busty brain's brainy beauty has this all figured out. Huh? Huh? You mean you know who the culprit is? What was that? Huh? The culprit? Fuck that. Hey. Trichy, do we really have the time to be listening to her? Honestly, I don't think we do, yeah. Wait! Hey, wait! Wait, goddammit! Are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? Probably, what? yes. Just listen to me, okay? Uh, come on, listen to me. Listen. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, if you're gonna twist my arm, then I'll tell ya! You better thank me for this. You know. I know y'all are dumber than fleas, but even you get how weird how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another purpose? Well then. But I figured it out with just one glance. These are diversions. Could it be diversions? Listen up! Yep! The culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. Distract what? us from something? What do you mean by that? What? How should I know? Isn't that Sherlock Hobo's job? I knew it. What a waste of time. Lucky turned and walked away. I can't say I blame what her. Was that? Huh? That was her problem. She's on the rat. She on the rag or something? Hmm. So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? They res their resemblance is pretty uncanny. You see the devils in the details, you know? Let's just see how detailed these really are. Uh. Hey! You tried to look up the wax figure's skirt. Hey! What are you doing? Stop that! No letter. We might figure out if this is like a, a real person or not. Hey. What? I just want to see the dolls for her wearing panties. Um. Wait, do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend is a doll now? Ha, fucking virgin! You like wax dolls so much? Then go fuck the doll already. Okay. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to me is a waste of time. She's really annoying to talk to. <laughs> she really is. I'm sorry, Mew. I'm sorry, those those of you out there that like Mew. She's really annoying to talk to and really annoying to voice act. <laughs> Not my kind of character. Uh, however, I think she is kind of right. And uh, she was giving us some important information there. That these are a, distra a diversion of sorts. What kind of diversion? And also she was trying to look up their skirt or whatever to see if they're accurate. And I feel like that's important. I feel like one of them is real. In fact, let me make sure that I properly go through and check each one of these. Not that it'll matter. Yeah, okay, that didn't say anything new. And again, doesn't say anything new. But I, one of these people probably it, it, is hiding some secret inside of, in like inside their wax effigy. If it's not like an actual like they themselves are a real person, it's something else that's similar. All right, let's get out of here. Still things to investigate, really? What am I missing? Something else going on near the body? We got the the body and the pool of blood. I already checked both. I checked the sword, I checked the kite, check the back door. I'm actually confused. What am I missing? Do I have to talk to Maki again? By the way. Strains at the front door and the back door have different locks. Yeah, I think we already mentioned this. That's right. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah, true. we already we already talked about all this. I knew it. Hmm. What the monitor? Monitor for communicating. Yeah, it's not helpful. I guess I'll recheck Angie's body. <clears throat> yeah, uh, she's seen a stab wound to the back of the neck. The laceration on the forehead. Killing blows a single stab to the back of the neck, a sneak attack most likely. Well. Okay, so we are getting information here. Then what do you make this wound on her forehead? <sighs> you the culprit hit her in the head before stabbing her from behind? That's really all random, I don't believe that. What? Her two wounds are substantially different. 
the culprit change weapons mid attack? Or did she like bonk her head on something on the way when she was falling down or something? Oh yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. So was it made after her death? What's going on with these two wounds? Board injury was added to the truth blood section of your monopad. Okay, so that's important information. Her forehead wound was done after she died. What does that mean? Why is that important? What does that tell us? It tells us that she was stabbed in the back of the neck and then somebody cut her on the forehead. Why would they cut her on the forehead after already killing her? Why? Is there a reason? I can't think of one. Yeah, I have no idea. Huh? 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 What's wrong, Maki? Or maybe they did it just to put blood on the sword? To make it seem like that was the weapon or something that was used? Got a minute? Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. Is this... What's this doing crumpled underneath her body? What is it? This is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? And it's got some sort of fabric on it. Or hair. Uh, um... I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Duct tape. Look, there are hairs stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? Uh... Did she try to like use duct tape to block the bleeding or something? Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? But I'm surprised you spotted this monkey. It was hidden under her body. So what? It's partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Uh, okay. Uh, well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, gotta be doing your job. Come on now. Well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over okay. it. Well then, it's a good thing you're used to, used to corpses, Maki. She just said that it was not a good thing. Huh? Do you want to die? Yeah, she just... I think she just said earlier that it's not a good thing to get used to, like, dead bodies. Sorry. So I don't think she agrees with that. S sorry, joking. I couldn't resist. Got a minute? I don't think she'd be joking with her about that kind of stuff. You don't need to apologize. I was joking too. Well, we, we know that. That didn't sound like a joke though. No, she always says Do you want to die. You already know that. Hmm. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. Hmm. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Okay. Let's think of all the evidence in combination and let's try to put it put together a picture just based on what we know so far. We've got the fact that she was killed that her time of death was 2 a.m. That's well into nighttime. Well into nighttime. So she was in here at that time. We got the fact that there are two different kinds of locks. There's the sliding lock and there's this lock. This lock, there's probably ways that somebody could have gotten into it. I think. Based on some of the methods that I'm familiar with. But I don't know if the game's going that direction because we didn't get any info on that kind of stuff. Like putting a something to stop it from actually locking properly. The black door had gold stuff on the latch. Why is that important? It means, it means one of two things. Either the person who was, touch, who was using the sword locked the door or somebody tried to make it tried to like intentionally put some of the gold coating on the latch to make it look like whoever had the sword did that like it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, somebody could have always done that kind of thing to misdirect us is what i'm trying to say but if we take it at face value it means that whoever was using the sword tr tried to lock that door why would they need to lock that door i don't know it would, i guess it would be because it was unlocked for some reason why would it be unlocked for some reason if they were in there and they wanted to kill Angie and they had entered through that door, they would lock it to prevent her from escaping. Hmm. 
Maybe they, yeah, maybe they entered through that door, locked it to prevent her from escaping or, or, or like after they killed her. And then they exited through the other door that they could actually lock while exiting. That's my guess. And the upside down effigies are, were not all originally, originally there. I think that all of that, only one of them was revived. Or... Only one of them was planning on being revived, but then all of them got hung up like that by the culprit to confuse things. Sumugi is by far the most sus alive person right now. So I'm gonna say that my theory is if somebody was revived and killed Angie, that then the person who did it was Kaede. If nobody was revived, and if nobody was revived, which is evidenced by the fact that the Necronomicon is still there, then I think it's Sumugi that did the killing. Because of the fact that she's trying to pin this on other people, and she got so conf she like was all constantly seeming all confused about what was happening. I don't know. She was been she's been acting weird. That's the only real reason. That's all I got. That's all I got right now. It's not really based on much, sadly. Let's continue with the investigation for now. Uh, um, Baki, what's wrong? So what? It's not that important, but the only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? What, you want him to be reliable at other times too? Reliable in what way? Like I'd know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito at least. That guy's useless. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, I mean, he was pretty useless for a while there because of his supposed fear of ghosts. <sighs> yeah, that's right. We still got all that stuff that was like, going on with Kaito. Like, he was supposed to be, he's like scared of somebody that coming back to life that maybe knew one of his secrets, I thought. I don't know. I think we finished investigating everything for now. Got a minute? Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we found enough ev uh, enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry up. You're right. Ah, you're right. First, we should investigate the ultimate anthropologist lab. We may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. That's true. We need to check the check if the katana really did come from that place. Hmm. Is something wrong, Maki? By the way, it just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Well, I mean, who else are you gonna partner up with? You don't like anybody else here. Sure. Whatever. Well, it's fine. Don't get used to it. Not as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. It's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. Yeah, Maki, Maki is smart. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, it's not gonna let me exit in that sort of fashion. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Let me out of here. All right, fine. I'll exit through the other door. Okay, is there anything to see? Nope, still nothing to see. Okay, so now where do we go? Okay, I'm assuming that this is going to be opened up later by something that the monocubs give us. Because since it's not seeming to be relevant yet. Then I'll change to that stuff. Alright, so I guess the next thing to do is to go into the Alter Math Anthropology Lab. Uh, before I do that, I am in uh, I'm in need of some candy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go pick myself some candy, some snacks, and then I'll move on into here because uh, I need it to live right now. I just I've just got a desire for, for some candy. Let me go do that and then I'll continue on. Okay, I'm back. Let's head on in here. I'm a little low energy today. So, I uh, probably won't be uh, doing the trial this session. Hence the need for candy to uh, to energize me up. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana is from... Yeah, it's from here. It's right there. But it's still in the case, so it's a different katana. I mean, it was a kind of old-looking katana. I mean, this I guess this is an old katana too, but... Let's just talk to Maki directly here. Okay. First, we should confirm whether the katana used in the murder really came from here. By the way, still there's tons of there's tons of weird stuff in this place. We're looking stuff in this place. 
I thought it was a ball, a bunch of useless junk at first, but I guess it's not. Sure, whatever. Sorry, don't mind me. I mean, most of it is kind of useless junk. Wait a second! We're missing the thing right here. The cage dog thing. Oh, right, right. They took it for their thing, didn't they? Right, they took it for their performance or the seance. This cloth. Ah, I see. It's the white fabric that covers the cage and the cage child. I suppose they already took the cage to the room. Could the cage be relevant somehow? And the murder? Hmm. It's just the sheath. Oh, okay, I see. I thought the left part of there was the handle. No, that's it's just the sheath left. Okay. Wait, I just noticed something. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice this before. Uh, in the background there is the um, it's the mask from Dongan Rampa 2. Oh, what was what was it called? Uh, sparkling Justice. Yes, it's the Sparkling Justice mask. Um, in the background behind the, uh, oh, there's like, there's a kitsune mask, there's some other mask I don't recognize, and then there's Sparkling Justice. Okay. Never noticed that earlier. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here, I'm certain of it. That's true. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab after all. And not really, I mean, this place wasn't locked. No. Not necessarily, anyone could have come here, in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. Roll Leaf Katana has been updated, okay. Oh? Oh? What are you guys doing here? Hey, Kokichi. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the seance? <laughs> <laughs> Look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that is your signature look. Anyway. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need from the seance for the seance. I came back to get it. What the cloth? Huh? Something for the seance? Yeah. Yep, that white cheat over there. I knew it. I don't know why I knew it. By the way, I just knew it. Because hmm. what else? Because there's really nothing else that we interacted with. We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. Weird. Why do you need the sheet? What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? They didn't mention a wooden dog statue yet. <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. I guess you could have seen it earlier. So that means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on this seance before I got the sheet. Huh? Study? He said research, didn't he? He didn't say study. Yeah, research. Um... So, let's see. Are you going to read the thing about it? Okichi took a look around and... I heard it's like some old handmade book. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover. So this must be it. And another weird thing about this book is it said there was like a survivor from the Cage Dog Village or something, right? Or like there was a person, I forget the details. We read it last time and I completely forgot what it was all about, but I know that there's like a relevant person that could be alive from this. Although it's seems like a pretty old book. Let's see. What does it say about the Kate's Child Seance? Kokichi flipped through the old book he picked up. Oh, is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can see the Kate's Child is it's mentioned here. What? Yeah. Yeah, Kyo's drawing is the same magic circle as the one in the picture. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, Kyo is drawing that like transmutation circle nonsense. All right. I don't necessarily see anything important about it. Well, I can't read any of this, so. Um... Okay, let's see. In order to perform the caged child, you need five people, including the spirit medium and a dark place with no light. Hmm. Okay, he did say he needed five people. If I remember correctly. Just like Kyo said, yeah. First, draw the magic circle passed down from the cage dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle. So, 
Hold on. He called. How many people went over there? Well, Kokichi is supposed to be there right now, so we'll count him. So one, two, three, four. Who's the fifth? Was it Sumugi or Mew? I'm just wondering if I'm counting wrong, because who was the, uh, who was supposed to be the spirit medium? And rest their head on the, on a forehead on a stone on the ground. Afterward, the other four participants, wait, rest their forehead? Let's put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. Okay. Finally, the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. I see. Also, it says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. Uh, um... The dog god? In the wooden dog statue? Okay, so basically you put somebody in there and you put a cage over them and a cloth and the dog statue and then it somehow allows you to talk to the dead person? Yeah. The preparations are complete. Turn out all the lights to create a create complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are each standing at a corner of the room. Four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the cage dog, cage child so song. Okay. So it is, it's, it's five including the, the spirit medium. Got it. After the song asks, is the cage ch child? Okay, that's just a, that confused me because that sentence just abruptly ends. After the song asks, is the cage child? Then say the name of the spirit. Oh, I see. After the song, you ask that. Got it. So you can say, is the case child, um, uh, I don't know, uh, Ryoma, and it'll, we'll talk to Ryoma or something? The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit. That's all it says. Okay. It sounds complicated. But... Complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Uh, no, normally it's simple plans, but okay. Hmm. Complicated plans have more chance of confusing people, I guess. Whether it works out or whether it works or not, Kyo's been wanting to conduct the seance for a while. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these those copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Hmm. Right? Oh, yeah. He said he memorized every word of it, too. That's probably why he left the book here. Because he can conduct the seance. Because he can conduct the seance without it. But. But is it even possible? Contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join us, Shuichi? Huh? Huh? You should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. Seance hasn't even started yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? I don't understand. Oh, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> Whether you believe or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. Yeah, I agree. As a detective, huh? Yeah, even if it's not directly related to the case, like we don't actually get any real information out of it. Well, at least be able to observe everybody's reactions and... I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. Hee <laughs> <laughs> Now you're talking! Alright! Well, I'll be waiting for you! Off of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one! Yeah, yeah. Kikuchi spoke as though he was inviting me to go play and left the room. I'm wondering what the other two rooms are gonna have to do with anything though. Obviously, they're gonna be important somehow. And there was that spot, like, on the ground, right? That was, like, a hole? Who was it that suggested the, um... Who was it that suggested we use those rooms, specifically? Hold on. Let me see if I can find that out. I don't think I... Can. I think it's a while ago. Actually, I think I might remember. 
I think it was actually Himiko. I think Himiko was the one who suggested it. Himiko's also been behaving kind of weird. But she's the one who suggested we do the seance in those rooms. But then, of course, Korakio's the one who suggested it at all, but, like, it's... A lot of weird stuff. Everybody's been... Everybody's been suggesting random stuff. I don't trust any of it. Anyways, I guess we'll go to the small rooms then. But first, can I go over here? Fine. But first, can I leave? No, okay, fine. Why, game? Why don't you just let me go into these other rooms? Why? Okay, whatever. Into the middle room. Hello. So, Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. <laughs> you are most welcome to join us. Oh. Is what I would like to say. However, only five, including the spiritual media, may join. Who's gonna be the one to let us take their place? Oh man. Oh man, what a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. Hmm. Me? Why me? <laughs> he really mm. picks on Kibo a lot. I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking of this thinking of this for a while. What? Listen up! Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. You see. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. What? Why you? Why is everyone be so mean to him? Is it, don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come? <laughs> That's why we're apologizing. Do not mock me. No one's apologized yet. Oh man. Fine, fine, our bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. How rude. Why would I do that? Also, didn't he recently get an upgrade? And I don't think we learned. Did we learn what his like upgrade was that he got? From you? Stop it. I don't think we did. Stop whining, Kipo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> Fine, but I won't forget this betrayal, Shuichi. Yeah, poor Sh poor Kibo. What did I do? And Kokichi was the one who invited him there in the first place. Did he invite him there just so that there'd be an empty spot for us to join or something? I don't know. <laughs> you never know. You never know with uh, Kokichi. So now, Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do you understand? Do not enter the magic circle that I have drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped upon. Um... You drew this magic circle with salt? That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Okay! So he's had a lot of experience with this. Well then. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. Well, there's not really anything to trip on, I guess, except for that hole. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, Terrifying. but it may also unleash a curse. Uh, okay. You got it. I'll be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Do not he said worry. he remembered everything. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle, circle should be perfect. Of course, I also have a caged child's song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I've copied the words to the song down here. Please commit it to memory. I see. At last, at last, at long last, your guard dog and little lost girl sealed within an iron cage. At mountain's bottom, at mountain's bottom, within the darkness, at last, at last, at long last, how many will there be? Down? Dawn? Will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it, did it eat the little girl? At last, at last, at long last. What kind, of, what kind of weird song is that? Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read in the dark. Huh? We have to memorize the lyrics now? Oh. You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here's the melody. 
Okay. I listened to Kyo sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Okay. All right, I think I've got it now. <laughs> Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then, let us begin the ritual right away. How exciting. Yay, we finally get to see Angie. So then. Before that, let us choose a spiritual medium. It would, 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 it would work best with a girl. And then I'll do it. Hmm, okay. But then you want to talk with Angie? Then you'll be speaking as Angie. That'll make no sense. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No. No, I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Yeah? Yeah? That's right. You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way you can say goodbye to her. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense. Thanks, Tenko. And after you finish saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please! Tenko. Yeah, she's doing her best. She wants, she's trying to do her best to help out Himiko and get her back on the right path and out of despair and make her actually try, but Himiko's not having any of it. Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. <laughs> You'll feel better when you do. <laughs> well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. Damn it! And venting your anger to something re that can really cheer you up. Yes! Bring your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. <laughs> I think you've trained too much. You're probably right. Seems the two of them made up. That's good. So then. So, now that we've decided on a spiritual medium, let us begin. Wait, let me look at the... I want to see if there's, like, still the hole there with, like, in the floorboards. Yes! I didn't see it. All right, Himiko, I'll see you later. I didn't... I, when I looked there earlier, I couldn't see it. Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your steps since it's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. This is so suspicious. Rest your forehead on this exact spot so something can fall on your forehead and, like, fall on your head and kill you in the exact right way. Is that how Angie was killed? Was, like, the sword or something suspended somewhere? Or something was suspended somewhere and... Angie was, like, tricked into positioning herself in such a way they would kill her? Through some sort of mechanism? It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? Hmm. Yeah, that's just so... Feels so eerily similar to how... Angie was arranged like uh, the what I'm thinking in my head right now which doesn't make any sense by the way is like those bodies were like all strung up and like a sword was stabbing into one of them like what if they like twisted up the bodies like you twist up a rubber band and then like uh, some sort of mechanism like made them untwist and start spinning 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 with like a sword attached to them and it cut it cut and like that doesn't make any sense right but there's got to be some sort of mechanism that killed her and this is just, this is just too, this just feels too similar. This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Mm-hmm, because then it wouldn't, things wouldn't stab exactly on the right spot, huh? Piece of cake, I have five-star flexibility. Could it be that Angie decided to use this method instead? Or something to try to summon... 
to try to like bring somebody back to life or, or summon them or something. I don't know. So then, starting now, the rest of us may must go to work. There are many things left to be on left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place this iron cage atop Tenko. I should leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind, walk carefully, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. Okay. My question is, who's gonna be the one to put on the dog, though? I shouldn't have lied. I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Hmm. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me! I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. <sighs> don't say that. It probably is gonna happen during this. Please don't jinx us! Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? Mm-hmm. I shall take that role. Of course you shall take that role. This is suspicious. All right. Everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. And that indent, that indent on the top of the box is like so specific. It feels like it's meant to perfectly line something up. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. Yeah. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. I want to see what's at the bottom of that statue. Is there any kind of mechanism? People. It's still really heavy. Holy crap, this weighs a ton. No. It is not much more than 175 pounds. <laughs> oh, I'm totally wiped. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. Sure, sure, Himiko, whatever you say. We're getting a whole, like, whole visuals for this and cutscene and everything, so. Sure it's okay to put something something so important is gonna go cage? on here. The iron cage was made specifically for seances, so it can hold this weight. Okay, I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing it. Hmm. Himiko's like shoes are almost touching the magic circle. <laughs> they kind of are touching the magic circle, so we might already be messing with it. So then. This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it'll be Angie speaking through you. Got it! Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. I don't know if we will. Well, then. The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. Okay, don't see the hole in the floorboards in the upper left. She stood in a different corner. Imiko is in the corner that used to have the hole in the floorboards. I'm looking at the... Hmm. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Are we? It seemed like the lit candle changed from the last time we looked at this room because I was paid close attention to it. Maybe I'm wrong. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. Mm, Kokichi is being strangely like uh, cooperative and also like serious about this. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, there are. I remember that. Yeah, got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. 
Hmm. Okay. I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. So dark I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual, instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner. Then began the singing. At last, at last. We're actually getting this. At long last. Read out. Heal let us all in the cage child song. Young guard, dog, and little lost girl, sealed within an iron cage. At mountain's bottom, within the dark. They're not talented singers, <laughs> but it's understandable. All singing in different keys. How many will there be? With different timings. Will there be two? Taking the opportunity to eat candy. Because I don't have to speak. Dunk! Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the Okay, Tenko's clearly dead now. At last, at last, at long last. What a terrible song, by the way. We finished singing the song, but I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was that? Say, is the cage child? Angie Yonaga began calling. Now, if the medium answers, say, "Is the cage child Angie Yonaga?" What's going on? Say, "Is the cage child Angie Yonaga?" What's the matter? What's wrong? Why won't Angie answer? Hold on, Miko. I was very clear that you were not to speak. Yes. Mm. Something's weird. Why won't she answer? She dead! Maybe it failed? Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? Is that okay? Well, just, just for now. Used, I walked along the wall back to the candle. I managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. Yep, yeah, blood. But it's still there. Which means, yeah, there's some sort of mechanism in it that stabbed her. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? That cannot be. Th that shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. Corkio seems genuinely surprised, so I th don't think he was s the behind all this. What? Vanty not coming? That's still Tanko in there? Hmm. Tanko? I see, yes. Ah, uh, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> She follows art as well! But how about we let her out for now? Hold on. Wait, dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Man. Seeing as how this was a failure, I don't think any spirits sticking around, but whatever. Okay, so we all need to remove the statue. Uh, missing plank there. Just like setting up, Gyo instructed us how to clean everything up. <sighs> we were careful to remove everything exactly in the order Gyo directed. So, did somebody enter from one of the other side rooms and then like do something through the floorboards there? But how would they have known exactly where to go and what the timing is? I don't know. Now, I will remove the sheet. Gio pinched the fabric fabric gently and pulled it aside. Oh? That's all you have to say? Oh? <clears throat> Perhaps. Something is amiss. But it's more than just a miss. Yeah. I think, and in fact, I don't think it was a miss. I think it was a direct hit. 
Yumiko ran towards the cage in a sprint. <sighs> Yumiko, I told you not to step on the... Nobody cares anymore, buddy. She wasn't listening. She jumped off the cage and... Tanko! Oh, now you care about Tanko, huh, Himiko? He's probably not going to be happy. He's probably going to regret her their actions a lot now. Feel by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted it up, and... <clears throat> A second murder, a double murder. I thought we would get something like this eventually, but I didn't think it was going to happen right now. Not until I saw... Of course, once I saw her, like, take the same position... Or, no. <laughs> once once Korakio said, like, oh, put your forehead in this exact position, that's when I started getting suspicious. <sighs> really? Who would have thought there'd be another victim during the investigation? I didn't want a fanny's great puke was predicting this tragedy. Now it's orange now. Ah. Oh, the puke's color's normal now. Guess it was predicting this. For now. Everyone, please assemble in the seance room. <sighs> so they say everyone. That includes any possible people who might have been revived, right? Second body discovery announcement played. If somebody has been revived, they have to show up before the class trial, right? Because they're a classmate. Well, I, I don't know. Depends on... I don't know what... The, I guess I could check the rules. It's, I guess it's not in the rules. It didn't take long for everyone to come running. I don't think it's in the rules. But you would think. What? Tango, seriously? <laughs> what is this? How did this happen? How did this happen? Tenko, Gonta, so sorry. Gonta no could protect you. Wait a minute. Shuichi, explain the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, that's... Uh, I don't know. What's happening? What on earth? I I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Uh, um, I guess for now, you should maybe start the investigation right away? Say. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie may be different from the culprit who... Right now, may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko, yes? Huh? Huh? Yeah, possibly. If so... What happens in the event there are two murders by two people? What if there are two blackened? Do we need to find them both at the class trial? That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? I'd imagine we have to find out the truth of everything, right? Yeah. Huh? Uh, what would happen? Uh, uh, Monodam, what would happen? Um. Oh, what? Oh, what? What happened? Not that. Why'd you look, look lost too, Monodam? I thought you were gonna run things instead of Daddy. I. I never expected something like this to happen. I really. I don't know what to do, really. I don't know. Oh, oh man, they're all disorganized. If you can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't know what to investigate. Father! Father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. No way! Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us. I'm sure he's fine somewhere. Yeah, he'll just respawn like this, yes. It's all our fault that daddy ended up like that. Yeah. I forgot what kind of nonsense excuse they had for him ending up like that. I remember he did show up like randomly and just staring at us before. Huh? It's all oh like the twice before actually. It's all your huh? It's all your fault, Mona Fanny? Daddy! Daddy, help! We don't know what to do on our own! Ah! You gotta use the power of love! That ought to snap him back to normal! Th that won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's right. That's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. <laughs> I don't understand, because you've never been loved before, Monadam. Daddy! Daddy, I love you, so please go back to normal. Father! I want to see you, Father. I love you with all my heart. Oh, they're making me blush. Okay, the real Monokuma is appearing. Yep. Here I am. I'm back. Were you good while I, while I was away? 
Oh no, Thank this again. You so much, my adorable darling cubs. You're so cute. With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation. <laughs> oh, that tickles. Father's intense love is getting me all soaked. Daddy, your tongue feels amazing. It's better not awaken anything in me. No. <laughs> no, no. Man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take our time off to relax. To tell you the truth. Normally, most companies won't even let you take time to go off time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is just is to just leave whenever you get permission or not. Um Huh? Wait, so then what is this Baldy then? Oh, just a part-timer I got to cover for me while I was gone. Hey! Here's your pay, like we agreed on. Now take it and get out of here. Why? Huh? I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. <laughs> okay, well, there it goes, I guess. Huh? Now that that nuisance is out of the way, what were you guys talking about again? Yeah? Ah, that's right. What happens to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? I'll answer that. Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first served. Huh? First come, first served? Hey, um... The blackened who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. In other words... If the blackened who killed Angie isn't the same as the one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the blackened. Really? So the person who killed Tenko could just get away with it? Is that what you're saying? That's really random rules, but this is Monokuma after all. Basically, Tenko's killer wasted a kill, and Tenko herself is a waste of a victim. Wow. Now then. Oh, I'll add this to the school regulations so you can review it later. Go ahead. I've also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder too. Interesting, very, very interesting. Father. Boy, everything is going so smoothly now. That father is running things that's so, that, so smoothly now that father's running things again. Leader's got to be able to take decisive action. Indecision is just the worst. Daddy! Daddy, you're, a glow you're glowing. You're glowing like a lamp. Jeez, now we have to investigate two separate murders at once. This is going to be rough. I'm satisfied with this. I still don't understand the first murder. There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. For as long as you live, I'll never let any of you go. But you, you have. <laughs> what about the ones that are dead? Oh, I guess they said as long as you live. He just left us behind while he was saying he'd never let us go. How nice! That's why he's so amazing. Please look at me some more, Daddy. Oh my goodness. So Alright. Bye-bye, well. Cubs. Oh, Monodam's still here. Okay, she's giving us a stare. Um... Um... So to make sense of all that, listen closely. If both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine Angie's killer. Nope. Uh, we don't even know if there's a different culprit, do we? Let's see. Yeah, we don't. True. We should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. How exciting! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Finally, things are heating up. I'm getting so excited. Piece of shit! God, fucking psycho. Juichi! Juichi, this is bad. Huh? Hmm? Ugh. This is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenka was killed. Everyone's upset and confused. And I'm in no shape to help right now. Why not? But you know. Just because you're ghost aversion? So this is where you need to step up. Listen up. Listen, Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's check the Monokuma file first. Okay, well, he's a lot happier about this murder for some reason. The victim is Tenko Chab Chabashira, ultimate Aik Aikido master. The body was found in the middle empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m. The only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. 
Stab wound on her neck. It's the same as Angie's cause of death. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't look like a coincidence. Maybe it's Angie's curse. Oh. Curse. Jeez. God, not again. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's he's useless to us. Oh no, what is he doing? Hey. What? Curse. Kaito, calm down. You're gonna get stabbed. No he's way gonna kill you. Curse. Don't screw around. You're the one who's screwing around. Do you want to die? <laughs> uh, and yep, yeah, that's about right. A dull sound reverberated through the room. <laughs> Are you okay? You deserve that, Kaito. My bad. M my bad, Shuichi. Uh, I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. Oh, we're gonna get some fresh air, so. I'll leave this to you and mock your role. You should you should stop calling her that now. She's just gonna kill you. I have to left the room still a bit wobbly. Um Can we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. However, was there more to that scene? Was there more to that scene? You never know with this game. Why did that scene happen right there? Kaito intentionally got scared. Poss like potentially he pretended to get scared and grabbed the hold of Maki why well in order to maybe put something in her pocket take something out of her pocket plant something on her these are all possibilities I don't know just saying in Danganronpa 2 <laughs> Mikon Falling over in an embarrassing position was a plot point. <laughs> it was a relevant plot point That's to the true. to the investigation. So you never can tell. True. We haven't had time to mourn Tanko's death as our own lives are at risk. Did I read the previous line? Yeah, resume the investigation. This is... That's true, but Angie and then Tanko. <laughs> and to think, earlier I was suspicious of Tanko. I'm sorry, Tanko. How can this be? Well, I mean, it's still possible that Tenko was the murderer, but then now she's dead. You never know. It's all Gonta's fault. Gonta failed to protect friends again. Himiko surprisingly doesn't look that upset. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Just, I'm a detective. 